everyone and welcome to the Sam and Ryan channel. My name is Sam. My name is Ryan, repping the merch, let's go. The merch that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, the <laughs> limited release, vintage. I'm repping the Sam and Ryan limited release doesn't exist anymore merch and I'm also repping this Heather's the Musical. Also, I actually don't think this exists anymore either merch because today we are talking about Heather's the Musical in a very shocking and um, <laughs> surprising, scary context that gave me some heart palpitations on this, the year of our Lord, 2024, April 1st yeah. day. Yeah, Ryan, you were sent a text on April 1st, and what did that text contain? Shout out to my girlies, Celia and Aubrey, uh, for sending me this chat in the group text for sending me this text in the group <laughs> chat. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Here we go. I'm just gonna sip coffee real quick. Okay, they sent me a tweet about Heather's the Musical officially being adapted into a movie by 20th by, by Fox, I believe. Mm -hmm. Rachel Zegler is in talks to play Veronica. Diablo Cody is writing the screenplay. And when I got sent that text, I was filled with absolute terror. And in the body of this video, we can get into the the, the many reasons why I felt this way, but but just to just to straight out for the engagement to keep people watching, to keep people excited with our content, I will tell you the tea right away. You don't even have to wait through eight minutes of conversation. I will go straight into the tea with this. I didn't want, oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna admit this on the internet. Yeah, I know, this is a bold claim. You're really gonna put this information out here. I'm putting it You're out You're finally doing it. Here we go. I did not want to do Heather's the Musical. I did, but I didn't. And here's what happened. I was in a place in my life where musical theater in its many iterations that I had done in my career as a very young person, again, for those who don't know this, even though I say this on like every video, <laughs> I've been doing musical theater professionally since I was seven years old. So I was just exhausted by it. I was hurt by it. And I, I was being really intentional in my career about focusing on film and television. I wanted to take like a lengthy pause from doing any more musical theater. And so when I was approached with the idea of, would you want to play JD at Heather's The Musical? I said no. And then to make a long story short, it was kind of like, please. And then I was like, okay, fine. But to dive into that story, this is how Heather's The Musical was pitched to me. We're going to do a very short workshop in Los Angeles, which was true. Then we're going to transfer to New York, which... It did. That is what ended up happening. So these producers were, were, you know, were good at manifesting their dreams. We're going to transfer to New York. All we need you to do is open the show, do the show for a couple months and record the album, which is exactly what I did. I opened the show, did the show for a couple months, recorded the album, left the cast. What I was told was, I understand that your dreams are in right now are in film and television. If you can do this limited run in Los Angeles and this limited run in New York, the ultimate goal for this enterprise is to make it into a movie. The whole reason we're doing this is to build popularity so that we can make Heather's the Musical into Heather's the Musical the movie set with Ryan McCartan as the star. So I said, let's Go. And Heather's The Musical was 10 years ago. The movie never happened. There's a very, 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 very long version of that story that we're not going to get into. But all of this is to say that movie was promised to me. That role was promised to me as a lead in a movie. And the musical was just a conduit to that. So when I saw that the musical was happening, 10 years after I was promised that, potentially starring Rachel Zegler, who's like 14 years old, I was like, I swear to God, if they make this now with Rachel Zegler and Timothy Chalamet, and I'm just like 30 and shit out of luck because now it's cool to make musicals into movies starring 20 year olds, I am going to blow up a school. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Whoa. I'm kidding. 
It's Heather's. That's a JD reference. It's a Heather's a reference, reference for the paper he trail. JD, I, JD just blows so up a school. Knows. Everyone it's, calm down. It's not because I want to blow up a school. I'm not going to actually blow up a school. It was, it, okay. it, it was a JD reference. He I can't even change JD. a tire, you guys. I don't all. know how to build a bomb. I also, again, just for the record, Rachel Zegler is like 23 now. <laughs> She is? Yeah, I think she's she's either 22 or 23. Oh, I I'm thought she was sure. like literally 18. No. I mean, I think she was with like when she did like Maria in West Side Story ages ago now. Wow. Has it been five yeah. years since they shot that? Probably. Oh, my God. Sam, yeah, don't I, lie to me. Is my skin okay? I still look young, is right? Is that your way of asking if you could still play JD in high school in a film adaptation of Heather's The Musical? Okay, well... Because I don't know that I want to answer that question. No, hear me out. Oh, Which God. version of high school? Oh, like Riverdale? Oh, there's a world in which you could play a senior in Riverdale High School, probably. You see what I mean? Glee High School? I, they Glee were like high 35. School? They were. <laughs> don't get it twisted. Yeah. It's so interesting because when you sent me that, I will say like, yes, of course, it was revealed that that tweet was an April Fool's prank because you clicked on. Was it actually revealed that it was an April Fool's prank? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you look at the replies and everything, like they, they, they led to a broken link that uh -huh. had nothing to do with Heather's. Like that was the, it, it, it was like a film account or whatever that clearly posted that on April 1st and they linked it to a broken Hollywood reporter link. So it was kind of like, haha, gotcha. But yeah. I'm not going to lie. Even when Ryan sent it to me, like my first initial reaction was like, shut the f up. Like there, like I can't, I can't imagine that this is actually happening, but also, I don't know. I was filled with a lot of different emotions because we already had an attempt at Heather's, like the TV show which did not go well. Did not go well. And so I was like, I don't know though, like they haven't, that didn't incorporate the music, right? No. Like it was just a TV show. So I was like, maybe they're gonna give it a go again as a musical movie. And like Rachel Zegler is obviously like a massive star. So I don't know, I, but I immediately was like, let me check this let me make sure this isn't fake news and guess what it was april fools so yeah i guess we kind of buried the lead i pretended that the lead was disgruntled ryan gets robbed of an opportunity but the lead is oh. actually april fools joke tricks sam and ryan maybe <laughs> yeah. we should have we... let off with that yeah i guess i guess no but i love that your reaction was fully just like what <laughs> this was promised to me 10 years ago and it's crazy though to hear that like that actually like was the goal or plan to make that into a movie musical, even just back then, like right after it had like an off Broadway run. Yeah, well, I mean, and we've also pivoted lately on this channel, not pivoted, but included in the illustrious body of our storied and diversified content portfolio, content that is revelatory about hard truths about the entertainment industry, I think uh, with a specific sort of lens on theater. And like this notionally, not for nothing, I think falls into that category of like, this is a thing that happens in this industry. Like this sort of trade of if you do this for me, I will do this for you. If you work on this project, I will promise you this project. And the truth is that you work on good faith, hoping that those promises actually end up panning out. And I'm not going to say all the time, but a lot of the time, those promises are empty. I have been made a lot of promises in my career that um, were not even remotely close to on good faith. And and in, in the defense of this project, I actually do believe that the goal was to turn Heather's the Musical into Heather's the Musical the movie. I think it's kind of a hard sell to pitch to financiers in this, the year 2024, let's make a campy musical theater movie about terrorism in high school. Um, so I get why maybe that hasn't happened. Honestly, it's very hard for me to see 
Heather's the musical, the movie getting made anytime soon. However, the thought that I just had, which I could really see happening is I think I could see Gen Z making Heather's the musical, the movie. Like, like as Gen Z, you know, kind of gets older, gets into filmmaking, like whatever. I could see this, you know, my generation feeling like, you know what, no. This in a way is actually our story to tell. Like, we, you, like you can't, you as an audience or you as a, you know, general public, can't really look at our generation and say, you're not allowed to like make a campy movie about terrorism in schools when it's like, that's what we grew up with. And I think Gen Z obviously has a very um, specific sense of humor when it comes to, <laughs> you know, making content about our lived experience. So there's actually a way that I'm kind of like, maybe, maybe it can't be told like right now, or maybe it shouldn't be told right now or whatever, but in the right hands, like even just you saying like, it's a hard sell of like a campy movie musical about terrorism in schools. I, like hearing that said out loud, I was like, no, but I think some Gen Z creatives could pull it off. Yeah, no, all good points. And, and this is, I, I agree in a certain sense. Like the reason that Heather's the musical in its current form is so successful on the West End and kind of died on the road to Broadway in America is because in the West End, they don't have the problem in London. They mm -hmm. don't have the problem of teenagers killing each other in school with guns. And Heather's mm -hmm. is about teenagers killing each other in school with guns. But mm -hmm. Heather's the Musical in its current form doesn't comment on that. Heather's the Musical in, it, in its current form doesn't present itself as a self-aware sort of critique or injunction on the fact that this happens. It is just really interesting that that at least I think would have to change, that it would have to kind of turn into a commentary of, about the fact that this is uncomfortable because this does feel different. Like this plot feels different now than it did in the 80s. Well, and at the end of the day, it is a commentary on that. It's just a question of whether that commentary is a self-aware one or an accidental yes. one. And right now it feels sort of accidental. We took something from the 1980s that at the time was not real and put it in a world where it is very real. And in that way, Heather's is actually very spooky in the, in the way that it was sort of predictive of these like radical angry at the world, angry at their circumstances, God complex, I'm going to take this into my own hands, high school students. Like, that archetype did not exist at the time, and now it is so prevalent, and it feels like it happens every week in this country. So, in a way, it was, like, spooky how predictive it is, but if you, if you aren't self-aware that you are making an injunction, then you're making an injunction on accident, and that's when it seems kind of tone deaf. So Ryan, if, let's play this game. If Heather's the musical was turned into a movie, if it got this adaptation today and kind of took on this like campy yet self-aware world, who do you think would be cast in it? Let's at least, let's at least do our best to brainstorm and theorize about like JD, Veronica, and the Heathers. Okay. But if it isn't me, I don't want to play. Well, so can it maybe be a Riverdale High School? You can be JD's dad. <gasps> How? What if you got literal? Dare you? No, 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 no. Well, I guess I, I don't know when this is going to be. I'm thirty years old. I know you're thirty. I know you're thirty. But I'm just saying, like, what if this movie doesn't get made for another like fifteen years or something? Like, no. But how cool would that be to have the original JD? play or i guess maybe right now they'd probably go for like christian slater huh they'd <laughs> right christian slater yeah. could be my dad okay sorry i got excited by the idea Let's can we maybe please do riverdale high school so i can be jd well oh okay thanks okay that does that does kind of change some of my other ideas because i was kind of thinking a la mean girls the movie musical where it's like they cast like you know young 20s roughly high schoolers Sorry. So it's me and a bunch of 20 year olds. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't know who would be JD. Yeah. So I guess for the purpose of the game, it has to be Ryan McCartan because there's so, no one else. So, it has to be Ryan so Ryan McCartan okay, is so JD. 
So Veronica, uh, listen, I could play opposite of like a 25 year old. That's true. So, you know, you, you could. we're not talking 19, but we're not talking 35. Either. Yeah. I mean, listen, this might be because I literally just saw her play Janice, but like Ali has an incredible voice. I like that pick. And I, we'll just put no I makeup on her and put a lot of makeup on me and we'll look like we're go to the same school. And it also honors the, the Veronica to Janice pipeline, but the other way around. So I like that yeah. pick. So now we okay, just need so to cast listen, the three Heathers. Rachel Zegler was mentioned in this tweet. I have a pick for her for Heather Duke. I would pick her for Heather McNamara. McNamara, okay. I think Rachel Ziegler's lifeboat would slay. I just, yeah, I, get, I could just see her playing that like desperation though really well of like wanting to be the queen bee. Like, I feel like I want I want to see her play like a little crazy too, but, uh, but totally, I think she could, I don't see her as Chandler, no. but like I could absolutely see her as Duke or McNamara. I was trying to think like, are there any other sweet little, sweet little blonde singers out there that could be, you know, doe-wide McNamara. Yeah, I mean, so far all of these people are way too young. Can we put like Meryl Streep in Heather Chandler so that it balances yeah. it out so I don't look like I'm not supposed like to be allowed in this high school? Rachel Zegler is McNamara. I think that's I think that's great. I think we just have to we have to skew more towards like 25 for the other two Heathers. Otherwise, there's no yes. way that this movie would ever get made. There's no way this movie's going to get made anyway, and I probably wouldn't ever play JD, but we're this is my game. Yeah, yeah. We're living in Ryan's game right now, guys, okay? Uh, if you have other picks for JD, you can comment them down below. Or you but can you, keep them in the silence of your heart. Chandler, man. I don't like yeah, who's like a 25 20 Oh, oh, I had this thought actually. Um, I be, so Julia Garner, she's 29, but she, she could play, I think opposite you in a high school world, but she, I don't know if she sings, but she looks like she could play a, uh, Chandler to me. I would also assume she has to be able to sing because she's been rumored for this Madonna biopic for like ages now. I am but not she, gonna she lie. Has that sharpness. I had to look her up because I'm so bad at everyone's names. I love yeah. this pick. For for Chandler, I felt pretty proud of it when I was thinking about it, honestly. Cause I, I had to literally Google like blonde actresses in their twenties who sing. Cause I could not think of anyone. Okay, but. I have a crazy pick for Duke, but she's 30. What about Liz Gillies? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 wait. Let me round this out in my head. Well, I mean, what about Liz Gillies for Chandler? No. She could play Veronica too. She could kind of do anything. Liz Gillies could play she could, JD she, and she gets I'd her watch pick. It. Yeah. <laughs> wait, that's okay. But so, yeah, I like her as a Duke. I like her as a Chandler. So right now, right now we're thinking <laughs> you as JD. <laughs> what? Ali you didn't have as... to laugh at that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I support you in your goals and your journey. Um, Ali'i as Veronica. I have to look at her again to make sure that's just not like way too creepy. I mean, she looks really young. She's 23, I think. We could, oh wait, 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 wait. Ryan, this feels a little bit better to I me. I think I know what you're gonna do. UJD, <laughs> Liz Veronica, Ali'i Duke, or Auli'i McNamara. McNamara. Zegler Duke. Zedler, yeah, yeah, yeah. Julia Garner Chandler. Wait, that's a, I like this cast. This could play. It's wild. It's wild, it, but this could I play. I mean, I, I. And then like Kurt and Ram have to be like Chris Evans <laughs> and Paul <laughs> Rudd. What? Whoa, really age up them? <laughs> Did you put them in their 50s? Like, what? <sighs> um, no, Kurt and Ram, I mean, no, I guess that would, I don't know, why would, Why do I think it'd kind of be funny to have like Bo and Yang play one of them <laughs> to where it's like, so no, 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 listen, I know it's supposed to be like, they're like jocks that like, are like framed as being gay, but like. Oh my God. That they like actually like, again, are. The subtext is like, they're no. actually super gay. Original oh, JD God. and his business partner ruin Heather's the musical forever is going to be trending on TikTok in four days.
Yeah, yeah, everyone's gonna be like, this crazy cast. I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of like the mane. I'm gonna like, I feel like I need to like Photoshop a cast picture. I need to like Photoshop everyone to kind of like see what it would look like. I'm into this. There's a world where I'm not mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along on this fever dream of a video with us. We hope you Period. enjoyed. As always, be, be sure, sure to, to like, like and, and subscribe, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Our love is God. I still got it. Greetings and salutations, fellow teenagers.